good morning. A lovely day. Might not look it, it's actually quite warm. I'm in the village of Farley. You listen to the bird song. A load of horses coming down now. And I'm here to look at the 11th century St Mary's Church, which I went to before in 2016 when I was doing a walk around this area. I'm near Wallingham. Believe it or not, I'm only four miles from Croydon. But it's absolutely lovely around here. A little pathway down here, onto a common. I think it's a golf course actually. But it's absolutely lovely. Yeah, I've seen so many horses around here. Oh yeah. And if you're very lucky, I'm then going to take you to St Mary's Church in Tatsfield, nearby. It's got St Mary's Church in Farley and St Mary's Church in Tatfield. Very horse heavy around here, very horse heavy. Just heard a cockerel and it's like 10 o'clock in the morning. A bit late. So we're going to walk down to the church. One of the oldest churches in Surrey. Sorry, cat alert. Hello. Oh. Cat alert. Hello. What's your name? Absolutely adore cats. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Okay. Lovely walking trail down there with um that goes all the way down to Wallingham. Let's go and look at the, the church. The church was built in 1083 by Robert D. Watville and it's been largely unaltered since it was built. These are the 16th century wooden doors, which is very nice. So I remember passing through here, what, five years ago? But I didn't really stop because I was out on a walk. Um, it's like this for a little walk around. This ancient church. It's near the Vanguard Way National Trail and the North Downs Way is not too far away, it's down near Titsy. So all these ancient sites, once again I keep saying this, built on old routes, nearby old routes. So there's probably something on this site well before the church was here in the uh, 11th century. Very interesting. It's a lovely old church. That's the little porch. Fortunately, the church is not open, which is a shame, so we can't go in. So, Mary the Virgin, circa 1083. They don't let you forget that, but that's pretty impressive, isn't it? So, yeah, there we go. A trip to uh, Farley and St. Mary's Church. Hello. <laughs> it's following me around all the time. Oh. So peaceful up here. Do you think we're four miles from Croydon? Four miles. Coming up. Oh, hello, here we go. Right in front of the camera. Hello. Um, sorry, I love cats. Yes. 
Oh yeah, it's really nice here. So yeah, there's a walk to say the goes all the way back down to Wallingham. A circular walk you can do that covers about three churches. Um, yeah, it's nice. History on your doorstep, as they say. What? What's the matter? I think you're just happy with some company, aren't you, Dan? Come here, see, get you in camera. There you go. <laughs> There you go. So yeah, um, it's all it's all good fun. It's all good fun. Sorry, I'm just adapting that. Just nice to hear the bird song in the background. It's really, really, really nice. So the plan now is to go down to St Mary's, another St Mary's in Taxfield, not not far from here. Let's see what's there. That's another one built in 1075. You know, nearly a thousand years. Incredible. Right, let's go. Before we go, I just want to once again just listen to the bird song. Really strong. Just four miles from Croydon, and Wallingham and Selden. Love it. Right, let's go. So here we are at the lovely St Mary's Church, another St Mary's, dating from 1075. A little bit of over exposure there. We're high up, glorious views, real glorious views over the Surrey Hills. Incredible, a lovely churchyard. There's been much alterations done over the years locked up door. This will be the north door? Yeah, it will be the north door. Because north is that way. Yeah, but a lot of alterations over the years since it was originally built in 1075. Lovely. This looks all original. This looks all original. When they did excavations they found the remains of, or the foundations of a medieval uh, manor. So that could have been a little bit more of a community around here back then, as it is now, it's very, very sparsely populated now. Now this St Mary's is what they call a pilgrim church, or a pilgrim's church. And when pilgrims were going from Winchester down to Canterbury for the tomb of Thomas Beckett, they would stop at these places for refreshments along the pilgrim's way, which is sort of straggles parts of the North Downs way. But actually, there's no truth in that at all really. When people were going to Thomas Beckett's tomb, they would be coming down from London, they would be coming across uh, this, uh, the English Channel from Europe. Yes, people would have come from Winchester, but they could have come from Bristol. <laughs> There's loads of places they would have come from. There's no evidence that the Pilgrim's Way was used by pilgrims for Thomas Beckett's uh, tomb, pilgrimage, none at all. It's an ancient route, goes back to prehistory, probably Mesolithic. Um, so yeah, Pilgrim's Way was really a, more of a Victorian invention, uh, to give it a fancy name. But they are ancient roots, that's what the thing is, they are ancient roots. Oh. There you go then. Two St Mary's churches in the Surrey Hills. St Mary's down in Farley and St Mary's here in Tatsfield. If you enjoyed the video please like, subscribe, please leave a comment. 
If you do know any um, quiet little churches in the Surrey Hills that I might not have been to yet, please do let me know. I think I know quite a few of them now. It's been fun. Lovely day. A bit breezy up here on the hill, but it's all good. Whatever you're doing, have a good day. See you later.